<laughs> I think she's just doing handstands on my back, but feels pretty good. Good morning from Natrong. Nice little city beach community where the skyline is booming. Now we don't have that much time here, so we are gonna show you exactly what you can do that's local to the area in one day. Motorbike rentals typically cost about a hundred thousand dong. If you get quoted higher than that, you're at the wrong place. Keep looking. First things first this morning, we're gonna start with a bath. These aren't just any normal baths, these are mud baths. And they became popular in the trunk specifically for like their healing properties. We're at Thought Ba, which is one of the most popular mud baths here. That's why it's so packed. Tickets cost 200,000 dong, and that's for the collective mud bath that we're going to do, and you'll see exactly the process of that. It opened up in 1999. I don't know how many pools it has, I can find out for you and tell you. We came here last year, and it is an interesting experience, and one that you should definitely get involved with when in a trunk. So the experience starts off with a quick shower before you get in the mud bath. And now, the mud bath. So far, so good. These community pools hold anywhere from four to eight people, but if you get here early, you might have a chance of getting it with less people. We're only sharing this big one with two other people, so it's a total of four of us. Plenty of space to move around, so you're not playing footsie with anybody. I lied. Some of the pools hold way more than eight people. Behind us, there's gotta be like 12, 15 people in that pool, but that's the great thing. They'll do groups. So if you're with a large group, they'll put everybody together in one pool and they'll kind of put the lone wolves like us in another pool with a bunch of other strangers who are also cool because you get to meet new people. To get the full effect of the mineral mud bath, you're supposed to sit in the sun for five minutes after. So we're gonna sunbathe with our friends and let it soak in. We've been in the sun for long enough. I think uh, all the minerals have been fully absorbed. I feel like a piece of pottery that's just been killed. And now we need to get in the shower, rinse off, and then go in the hydrotherapy shower for about a minute or two. Okay, so the hydrotherapy shower is extremely powerful painful. and a little painful. So now that we've removed our upper epidermis in the hydrotherapy, what's the next step? The next step is a hot mineral bath. It's the same type structure as the mud bath, but this time it's just water and it's mineral water. So it's supposed to be very cleansing and we get to relax in it for 30 minutes. Temperature is between 37 and 40 degrees Celsius. They recommend you stay in here for about 30 minutes after you've done the hydrotherapy. It's pretty simple. People migrate from the mud bath to the hydrotherapy shower to now the hot mineral bath to then a swimming pool. So you could really spend the whole day here if you really wanted. The first part, the spa part, is timed, but once you get to the pool, you can spend as long as you'd like there. When all else fails here in the Trong, you always have the beach. It's long as hell, it's beautiful, and the water feels great. But it does have more of a chill, so it's not hot water, it's refreshing water. So you have these beautiful mountains in your peripherals, and also some nice islands that are just straight ahead out in the ocean. It kind of reminds me of Hesifi, where I grew up, but more specifically, Boa Viaging meets Florianopolis. here is something called Vin Pearl. Think of it as like a Six Flags water park 
meets Carowinds, meets Disney World. Yeah. There's actually cable cars that take you all the way there from Natrong City. So it, cru it cruises over the entire ocean to deliver you to the Vin Pearl Island. It's pretty wild. Or you can take a ferry. We haven't been and we're not gonna go. Because it's expensive. The sun is setting, but we have one more thing we want to show you. And this is it. We're about to get a massage, and it's not just any ordinary massage. We're getting a massage from some blind people. When I was talking to the masseuse, he was telling me that the reason that they do blind massages is because blind people in Vietnam can only do one of two jobs, either massage or play music to earn money. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he told me. If you know, let me know. Okay, so, update. The back is definitely more tolerable, but they kind of just hop right up there and it feels pretty good. It kind of knocks the wind out of you. They are reaching tissues I don't even think I knew I had. The deepest tissue possible. This is a really weird angle, so I'm gonna have to give you guys an update whenever we're done with this. That is a wrap. Overall experience is good. It's uh, a little bit rougher than your regular massage simply because oils are not used. Would I do it again? Maybe, maybe not. Here's how I'd put it. If you're saving your money to only get one massage, go get the regular massage. If you are a little bit more on the adventurous side and you want to try something new, definitely, definitely go there. Go there and get that massage. So we're headed up to the Sheraton rooftop. Some of the best views are from the hotel rooftops. The Sheraton not only has a great rooftop, but they also have a fantastic happy hour. Trong on your list of places to come to if you're traveling up and down the coast of Vietnam. We like to use it as a place to come and relax when we're traveling from north to south or south to north. It's more than just beaches, it's a really great place to come and relax. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you visited Nha Trang before or you're from here and we miss anything cool to do, drop it in the comments below. Anyway, Nha Trang, it's been real. Hey. I look like a nun. <laughs> when they transition from your head onto a your body, they will crack your neck, which is kind of terrifying. I didn't get that. Oh. <laughs> so that's our. Oh, shit. <laughs> redo. Redo.